What's up, everybody? I'm back with another uh, Marshmallow vi video, ah, video, of all things. Um, this one is an Asus uh, E-Pad Transformer Prime. Uh, you can see we have the keyboard connectors right there, right there, and uh, as well as the main charging port. Uh, this precedes the Transformer Prime you remember those devices back in 2012 those are really iconic uh, competition to the iPad you know it really is a shame that the tablet market is dead essentially but that's not the focus of this video really I might do a separate video on that oh and also stay tuned uh, linked up here will be hopefully soon a video to my Android Nougat 7.0 on the HP touchpad video because I know a lot of you guys liked my uh, marshmallow review on the HP touchpad but about this device let's go ahead and power her on you see we have our familiar lock screen if we go ahead and unlock it uh, we have a pretty standard suite of apps um, Music, Google Play Store, Camera Clock, Contacts, Downloads, Camera, Browser, and Calculator, though, and obviously Settings and Terminal Emulator. Those are all uh, stock apps. Uh, you know, whether it's included with the ROM or the GApps package. Um, I'm sorry for the uh, banding guys, but there's really nothing I can do about that other than turn on debanding which I think is already even enabled in this. But if we head on over to settings, I'll verify with you guys that this is running Marshmallow. When I first got this tablet, it was uh, running Android 4.0.3. And I had to root it, uh, flash a custom bootloader, and from there I could flash twerp and get this running so with this ROM which is uh, cat kiss this is honestly kind of a really stupid name but it's a really <laughs> dare I say interesting ROM I mean the only additions is we have our basically own kernel auditor app built into the settings we can change our governor. Those are the stock kernel governors. Um, we can choose a minimum frequency and a maximum frequency. The developer of this ROM uh, has overclocking all the way up to eight, 1800 megahertz. Remember, this tablet has the NVIDIA Tegra 3 system on chip. So its normal max clock rate is 1300 megahertz, but I have it slightly clocked up to 1400 just for uh, more smoothness and performance and uh, you can see battery life isn't all that good. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, if you're gonna flash this ROM, do the CFQ IO scheduler. Should That should be stock but if it's not and you have the option to set it on boot. We have media scanner filters. I've never actually even really gone into this. Um, apps permissions this looks like a version of cyanogen mods uh, privacy guard deal I don't really care about that user interface you can change the nav bar buttons you can change the multi window uh, controls which is quite awesome so um, if we check up here also a word on RAM management uh, it's all pretty good as you can see, that app had to refresh. Let's see if the Play Store. I opened this last night. Let's see if this one will have to refresh. No. So, this tablet has the NVIDIA Tegra 3 with 1 gig of RAM. So, the stock kernel that this ROM comes with is actually quite good as far as uh, memory efficiency goes. So, again, if we go into our um, multitasking switcher, let's load up Spotify. And then we'll do dual window. As you can see, this is quite buggy. 
Um, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about it. But it works. As you can see on Spotify, um, you know, we can bring all this up. Probably won't play them much. Because of uh, copyright issues, but you can see it lags quite a bit. Look at all the bugs. But for the most part, sorry, my tripod fell. For the most part, it is a functioning multitasking feature. I'm filming it on an iPad on a small tripod, if that's why you're wondering why it fell. Let me. Hmm, I should, I'll, I might adjust it in the next video that I do. But you know, as you can see, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty bad. But we'll go ahead and go. And as you can see, you can get out. I don't know why I brought up email. But yeah, we have a, the AOSP music player from Gingerbread a couple years ago, or from, uh, years and years ago. Come on, focus. There we go. And, you know, you can load up your... Um, I loaded up a library on the micro SD card slot. If any of you guys can see that slot. Um, it didn't detect my music on the SD card. So it looks like it has to be on the internal storage, if it even works at all. This is nothing like the touchpad ROM where I was uh, amazed about how stable it was. But, I mean... You know, web browser works quite well. This is the stock AOSP web browser all the way from um oh gosh, what was that? Honeycomb? Or uh, was it Ice Cream Sandwich this was introduced? But like you can or load up XDA developers. Come on. Pretty JavaScript intensive website. Sorry about that, guys. I got interrupted, but we'll go ahead and reload. So, and as you can see, we have multiple tabs. This is basically like Chrome. So we'll go ahead and reload. JavaScript intensive website. Some of my computers can't even really run it all that well. And as you can see, it's mostly done loading. And it is responsive. So, I mean, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I, I do like this browser quite a bit more because it's a lot more lightweight than Chrome is. Chrome really is a heavyweight browser. Um, but yeah, the stock launcher interestingly doesn't have any animations to it and I can't get the Google Now launcher to work because all that comes up in the list of launchers is launcher 3 which I assume is this launcher. Um, but I mean you get basic wallpaper support um, oh, that really threw it off didn't it hey guys so right about here uh, my iPad storage went full it shut off recording so I apologize if the next clip feels really fragmented I also had to edit the next clip after it because I revealed some stuff I didn't want on YouTube in the reflection namely some identity stuff so yeah, uh, apologies in advance. So let's talk about battery life, shall we? So as you can see on here, I charged this up to about, so right here is about, about 40%. And that initial battery drain right here was caused by the overclocking that I did, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, our screen on time, we're going to average, I mean, we're at 1 hour 8 minutes right now on, honestly, almost full brightness. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure if we turned it down, it would be a lot better. But I mean, battery life is okay, just like the touchpad. Uh, at least this one hasn't triggered random reboots on me like the touchpad did. So that's good. Uh, interestingly enough, the I cannot get the Google Now launcher to work at all. It doesn't appear up in my list of launchers at all. So I don't quite know what that's about. 
Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's basically it. But really, guys, I mean, this is the, uh... NVIDIA Tiger 3 still pretty much kicking butt in 2016. Sort of. Uh, I notice sometimes animations are a little laggy. Uh, but for the most part, everything still runs just fine. Um... But yeah, I mean, there's really nothing else to say about this. Um, still a beautiful tablet. I don't prefer tablets in a 4x3 um, aspect ratio. But, you know. I'm going to go ahead and give this back to the person that requested I put marshmallow on it. And I'll post links to how to do everything in the description. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll go ahead and see you later.